that I received on the way here, battling my way from uh, uh, Rockaway, New Jersey. And let me uh, introduce future doctoral candidate, uh, Mr. Coleman Alvin Perry. Yeah. As I was as I was coming through all the terrible traffic and weather, I, this email says, uh, "Dear Alvin, congratulations." The Chief Academic Officer has approved your doctoral study with a minor in it. Because I'm going to tell you, you can get through it. And so when I thought about it, I want to say that I only have about 10 minutes. I want to come bring you a 3D message this, this afternoon, this evening. And no, it's not DBA. And no, it's not PhD or EDD or dissertation or doc study. It's not one of those these. It's desire, development, and determination. Those are the three D's. Let's do the first D is desire. Oh, everybody take both hands. Now here, keep mind now. I know you all some scholarly folks, right? I know y'all might be a little skittish behind and high, you know, high quality, all that kind of stuff. I'm so country for it, brother. Right? So we're going to break it down a little bit. We're going to have a little fun, a little bit, but I want to leave you with a good message. I want to leave you with a tool that when you leave here, you can actually implement this. I want everybody to take both of their hands and reach up as high as you possibly can. I want you to reach as high as you possibly can. Okay? Everybody look around. Look around your neighbor. Look around your neighbor. Everybody reach. Okay, hands down. Now that is called desire. That's what desire feels like. See, that's when you're reaching for something that you cannot see, right? I'm here to tell you that there is no way, unlike some of you smart folks now, I was a little slow, <laughs> right? I never saw a doctoral candidate program, nothing in my career path, in my path, vision map, all the high quality words they use. I never saw that. I never thought I was capable because of two words I learned in this program called self-efficacy. It was not that I was capable it's that I didn't have academic confidence. But guess what, I, I reached anyway. I kept reaching for things that yet I could not see, right? I kept reaching, I kept reaching, I kept reaching. So what I'm gonna tell you, as your first D, as desire, keep reaching for what you cannot see. Is this journey gonna be easy? No. Are you gonna be frustrated? Yes. Do, you, do I think it's gonna be worth it at the end? Absolutely, right? That's the first D. Second D, I want everybody to hold up their index finger. Hold up your index finger. I want you to tap right here. Tap on, tap on the side of your head. That's called development. Now, in order to complete a doctoral program, you got to do two things. You got to be able to read and write. Two. But hey, if you're one of those folks that really just feel like you're a little short, well, they got resources. Go to the writing center. Get with the librarian. Right? Get with some folks. The resources are here at your disposal. You do not have to come here being the super whatever doctoral student candidate. You don't have to, you don't have to do that coming in the door. You can develop that along the way, right? If you have that desire, if you want, how much want to do you have? Nobody's gonna come give you and put this doctoral degree in your lap. You're gonna have to go earn it. The last D stands for, what did I say, did I say? I'm just seeing y'all paying, y'all pretty sharp folks. I'm just one of y'all paying attention. Turn the, everybody sit up straight in your seat. Everybody sit up straight. I want you to get your arms in a running motion. Get your arms in a running motion. I want you to pump your arms. I want you to pump your arms. Look around your neighbor. Everybody look around. Look around. Look around. Okay, stop. Now we got some cool pumpers. <laughs> right? We got some pumpers who are really pumping. What you're doing is running away from quitting. Tell me your name. Andy. See, I'm having a conversation with Andy. And I say, we're just talking, having a dialogue. And I, Woo! Ann looked at me and says, Dr. Perry, what is that? I said, Ann, quitting just snuck up on me. Ann, real sharp. She looked at me and she said, well, Dr. Perry, quitting does not sneak up on you. You actually have to look and identify and evaluate the situation and based on what you think the potential outcomes, you make a choice to quit. 
Quitting is a choice. That's a choice that you do not have. The statistics say 50% of you will not finish the program because of that last thing, determination, you will let quitting catch up on you. I'm here to tell you that you are here with people who are just like you. They may not look like you, they may not talk like you, they may not dress like you, but you all have the same common bond. You need to connect with two or three people here at this residency and y'all, I promise you, will help each other get through the program, right? Close up, I'm gonna tell you the three D. Uh, what's the first D? Desire. You see what it looks like? What's the desire look like? What's the desire look like? Okay. Second D. What's the third D? Quitting is a choice you do not have to make.